I'm at the largest technology conference in the world, the Consumer Electronics Show CES 2023. And today I'm gonna to be talking with actual engineers about how artificial intelligence is transforming their products. Ansys is a company focused on simulation, and we use simulation in almost every engineered product on the planet today, whether it's simulating electromagnetics or airflow around a car or a plane, or thermodynamics and lifing in an engine. Uh, all those things that are important in the engineered world, and ultimately, at the end of the day, those physics-based models are the kinds of models that help our designers in all of these different industries, from aviation to industrial to energy, uh, make better products. Gutter here from AI. We are a LiDAR company based in San Francisco area. We're publicly traded. LIDR is our symbol. In a highway situation as an example, a brick on the road, 160 meters to 200 meters, you need to be looking at wide angles. Being able to be very flexible in those situations allows us to be very smart and intelligent in our machine learning. Uh, I'm with Mitsubishi Electrics uh, out in Boston. Yeah, so I think there's, you know, so many interesting applications of, of machine learning and all the different businesses we do. What we're seeing is that AI is just being applied widely through all the different businesses that Mitsubishi is doing. In general, we're looking for people that have machine learning background to kind of come into the company uh, and work with people that have domain expertise in different types of products and systems. The real magic happens when you combine kind of the AI and products. This is done in a green screen, 4K, 2D environment. We use that as our training data to train up the model, real-time video synthesis. This is a competitive advantage. We do GPU clustering and smart caching. This is core IP that we've developed to make sure we can develop and create video faster than any of our competitors. And also the hyper-realistic nature of our video makes us stand apart from the competitors. We really focus on tuning the lip sync to be lip reading accurate where a lot of the competitors, it looks like a puppet talking. It takes a few weeks to train up the model, but once it's ready, it is a text to video model. You can see some examples here. So we are Nuvi Lab, we are Nutrition Vision Lab. We use machine learning and this is our AI food scanner. We use it to detect the type of food and the amount of food on a plate. So by using a 3D depth camera, we can actually do a 3D rec reconstruction of every food. And it shows the most wasted foods, for example, ingredients that you're wasting the most so that they could um, maybe buy less. And they can also track all that information as a lost value. recognize medical conditions that are clinically relevant. So we, we look at face and voice behavior, your facial expressions, uh, the tone of your voice, your gaze or where you're looking, um, as well as your head pose. And from that, we then recognize how you're, uh, how you're basically uh, feeling. Different medical conditions actually change the way you behave. We don't behave randomly, right? Nobody behaves randomly. Uh, it depends on what you're doing. It depends on how you're feeling, but also depends on, for example, whether you have depression or if you have another medical condition, uh, like whether you're in pain. So we then use these facial muscle actions, uh, where you're looking, the tone of your voice, to give an indication of these clinical conditions. We do that both in a clinical way, you know, going through a medical uh, device certification, or in a non-clinical way where we're basically just saying that you have low moods rather than that you are depressed. Uh, but the nice thing I suppose of the way our machine learning works is that we really operate in two, two layers. So this is trained on tens of thousands of people um, and you can readily see that. If I smile, that action at 12 goes up. If I raise my eyebrows, these go up. If I lower my eyebrows, that one go up. So you can, you can really readily see that it's correct. Now, from that, you get about 200 parameters, and from that, we'll then learn how to do it with a separate AI system, with a separate machine learning system. We learn to recognize depression or pain or other things. And the nice thing is then, 
you don't have to deal with the head post problem anymore. You don't have to deal with the lighting problem problems anymore. That's all done at the lower layer. And now we need far fewer people, far fewer people to train that next layer. And of course, that's important because clinically relevant information is hard to obtain. So that's how it all works, more or less. more curious future in the description below you're going to find a link to our newsletter where i am going to be sending out the best in artificial intelligence and technology so that you can stay ahead of the curve click the link below sign up for the newsletter and i will see you guys in the next video thanks for staying with me